What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have this 2007 It's a Toyota Camry and We're gonna program actually a key slow situation on this car So the customer brought this key actually this one and They change a lot of stuff because they they want the car to turn on They change starter fuel pump and a lot, a lot of things, but they never thought that this car had the anti-theft on so if we put the key and we turn it on we will see the light still flashing and well it's never gonna turn on the car so um, I have a machine right here that checks if the key is good and I believe that this key is not working I mean the chip so we're gonna read it and we're gonna see if we get any data out of the chip so we're gonna see right now and we have a fail read so this key doesn't have a chip that's why it doesn't turn on so we're gonna program this one we're gonna put it right here let me just identify the chip hold on hold on and there we go we have the id67 master key dst40 so this is the chip for this car and actually we're gonna use this scanner also to see if we get the the correct pin I mean the correct chip for this car so we're gonna hit Toyota Bam. Toyota there we go we're gonna open the switch because we have this working non-working key but we we have something to open the switch so that's the first step we're gonna do an automatic detection and I'm connected to Wi-Fi so probably we'll need the Wi-Fi for this so we're gonna decode this pin number it's gonna give me the correct model and everything so we have 2006 to 2011 Toyota Camry so we we'll go here and we're gonna do information and here is gonna tell me the chip that I need so here we have 4C chip and we have the 4D TST well uh, if it doesn't work then probably I will have to work a key so I'm gonna try this way first but this is a good way to know if you have the right chip on this card or not so we're gonna get the right the right chip for this card all right guys so as you can see here I removed the cap the cover of the key and we see the chip is missing and actually we have the correct chip it's the ID67 master key so what we're gonna do we're gonna use this key and we're gonna use it like this so we can cheat the system Hopefully, uh, it will allow me to do a, a full uh, chip reset because um, some cars you have to actually um, disassemble the box for the immobilizer. So we're gonna open this switch right here like this. Just it's not gonna do anything, but it's gonna detect the chip. So right now we're gonna do a scan and we're gonna see if there's actually only one. Uh, key store in the system so somebody already tried to well actually uh, somebody already erased the other keys so we're gonna do immobilizer learning and we're gonna do a quick reset of the immobilizer so here this function will clear all keys and you will need at least two keys so there's at least one master key among the keys so we're gonna need two keys to successfully program the um, this car so we're gonna hit ok I actually have two master keys so we're gonna press ok since we don't have the uh, the original key is all keys lost we don't have it so we're gonna wait 10 seconds and I'm gonna cancel this right now because I'm gonna get the other key because I don't have it right here so let's just wait it says here so this is the whole process resetting completed so on the following uh, learn two master keys and one slave insert the first master key into the ignition lock and you're gonna wait five seconds uh, just insert the key in the off position do not turn on the, the the ignition switch and then you're gonna insert the second master key and the ignition lock without uh, opening the switch and also you're gonna wait so yeah this is pretty much what we're gonna do so uh, here says note in the mobilizer note lab lab is still flashing when the function is completed 
This function must be performed again till the mobilizer goes out. All right. So let me get the other key and start doing this. All right, so I was reading actually, if you wanna learn two keys and one slave key, so we're gonna do actually this. We're gonna learn two keys. So we're already on the uh, on the learning procedure. Once I close the switch, it's gonna start the process. So we're gonna insert first the key and we're gonna wait five seconds and then we're gonna remove the key and then insert the other key to learn, but we're not gonna open the switch uh, any of those two times so once that is ready we're gonna remove the key and insert the first one again that we uh, that we put then we're gonna open the switch and off five times until the secure lamp goes out okay so once we do that the the learning should be completed and it will allow us to turn on the car so right now I'm gonna close the switch I'm gonna get this key and we see the light it's flashing so we're gonna insert it one two three four five remove it get the other key and we're gonna do the same process just right here so it's one two three four five then we're gonna take it out and then we're gonna, we're gonna get the other key and we're gonna open the switch five times really quick. So it's really difficult to do it with one hand, but I'm gonna try my best just to show it quick. So there we go. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. And well, the light's still on. So that means I didn't do the process right because it's really hard to film and do it at the same time. So I'm gonna do it off camera and uh, we'll see. All right, people, so we already programmed successfully this key. So we're gonna test it right now. Uh, I had to do the procedure really quick. Open the switch five times because uh, the light was still flashing. So that was pretty much it. And we're gonna see if the light is out. And there we go. The light is out and the car starts. So basically on this Camry, you don't actually have to remove the whole uh, box to program keys. So what I'm gonna do is, since they want to use this key, I'm just gonna clone, well probably I'm gonna give them this and I'm gonna make another copy, a clone, so they can uh, actually, uh, what I'm gonna say, it? well they will have a spare just in case they lose it because the process is not so simple. So yeah, that's pretty much it. This is how you program all keys lost for a 2007 to your Camry. Okay, please if you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe, comment down below, turn notifications on, and I'll see you on the next video.